to another video it feels so good to be back i actually haven't sat down and recorded a video like this in five weeks because i went on holiday and then i just had this feeling that when i got back that work was going to be really busy and it was so everything you've seen recently except the vlogs they were like pre-recorded back in april you weren't to know that but anyway for me it's good to be back talking with you <laughs> i'm going to be sharing with you six different pairs of glasses two are sunglasses everything else is eyeglasses and i've personally split these into two like one i've shown in a more business sort of formal way if you wanted to wear them to the office or you know to something more formal then the other three i picked these because for me these are the type of things that i would wear on the weekend or with a slightly different makeup look they're just a little bit more less formal more fashiony if you are an eyeglass wearer or maybe you're not and you just like them to mix up your look and have a more fashionable look every so often, then keep watching because I think I've got something you're gonna like. Before I get into the good stuff, I do just wanna say that this is a sponsored video. Now, it's important for me to just explain where I fall when it comes to sponsored content. I only do sponsored content on the rare occasions when someone might talk to me and I already happen to be using their product and like it. Or they might send me something and I start using it and I'm like, actually, I really like this. And then I end up adopting it and using it long term. But also my other consideration is, do I actually feel that producing that sponsored content is going to offer some sort of benefit to you guys watching? As someone who's been wearing eyeglasses since 2005 and find them very expensive to buy, this is something that has really interested me. I've been using this product since before I went on holiday, so five or six weeks now. I've had a chance to test it, I really like it and that's why I want to share it with you. So I hope that you enjoy this and that you find something useful in it. The company in question is GlassesUSA.com. They're not a company that I'd ever heard of before and the way they work is they're an online retailer. You can scroll through, I think they've got like two and a half thousand different frame styles on there which also includes sunglasses and they've got anything from their own in-house styles which I want to talk to you about in a second through to designer. Their prices, this was the key thing, their prices are 70% off retail. Talking about their in-house styles, I've got six pairs that I'm gonna show you. I thought out of the six pairs that I was gonna pick mainly designer, but I ended up going for, I think only one is, yeah, only one's designer. And the reason why I decided to do that in the end is quite frankly, their own in-house styles felt more fashionable and more modern and contemporary than a lot of the designer stuff. Don't get me wrong, like a lot of their designer stuff's nice, but I just felt more drawn to a lot of their own designs. So that is like some top level information on them. Now I'm gonna show you the glasses. The first pair are these. These I particularly liked because they're somewhere in between a rectangle and a cat eye shape, but they're like a softer cat eye. They're not like 1950s or anything. But I really liked the metallic gold that you've got on either side. They are black on the front and then on the inside they are white. If you want a bit of a variation on the classic black frame and you want something that's a bit more different but you're not the sort of person that wants to play with like color frames or anything like that, I particularly like these. I really like that it's quite subtle but I like the metallic gold on the side there. And I've chosen to style these and the other two pairs that I'm gonna show with a shirt with a bomber jacket over the top. To give you an idea on price, you can get a pair of frames plus the lenses, prescription lenses or non, and they start from $48, which is around about 35 or 36 pounds. The next pair are called Muse. These came in a few different colors. I chose to go for the gray because I really liked the sort of tone that they gave. These definitely, I felt, allow me to do something a bit different with my makeup. So for example, Normally, if I go to the gym and I want to wear like my baseball hat and my gym gear, if I wear the regular glasses that I normally wear, they're, they're quite like a heavy cat eye, they just don't look right. Whereas with some of the styles I've got here, particularly with these ones, they look a little bit more weekendy. They're not too 
sort of business or workish or like looking like something that you might wear to school or college. Then the next pair, this is the only pair of designer glasses that I ended up choosing. These are Diane von Furstenberg. And I chose these because these are so different to any of the glasses that I've got. The shape of them, like really 1970s, I like the style, but I also really like the color. They are, is that coming out on camera? They're like a UV blue color, but can you see? They have got, these. this round here is tortoise shell, but it's blue tortoise shell. Is it even showing up? It feels like a real treat to be able to have prescription sunglasses. This is something I've never had because as soon as you start changing up the lenses in your glasses, it gets really expensive. And over the course of time when your prescription changes, another thing I also think is that you run the risk of breaking frames when you get the lenses changed every time. I would rather not run that risk and run that expense and wear contact lenses on those days, but to be able to have some glasses for the days where I don't wanna wear contact lenses, which is most of the time because I find them highly irritating, these are really nice to have. If you are new to glasses, or if you maybe wanna change the style of glasses that you wear, I've been wearing glasses long enough to have a pretty good idea on the styles and the shapes that tend to suit me. But if you're not sure, if you go onto the website and look at an individual pair of glasses, they have got, I think it's like, it looks like a virtual mirror. At the bottom of the page, there are pictures of different people, men to women, different ages, different demographics, different hair colors, different skin colors. It was definitely a helpful thing for me to be able to go and look at because normally I end up having to take the serial number of the glasses in question and then go and check through Google images. And actually it was just pretty helpful to see there and then how it's gonna look. But if it is something that you're still worried about, do offer a completely risk-free shopping experience. So they do free shipping, free returns, and they do a 100% money back guarantee so if you do end up getting something that's prescription, you're not stuck with it. If you get it and you don't like it, you can send it back. The next pair of glasses I'm gonna show you are these. These are also Amelia E, and I'm just gonna compare them to these. These are both from the Amelia E line, but as you can see, let me show you, they are both quite a bit different. So these ones, these are the ones that have got the metallic on the arms and they're white on the inside. These ones are black all over, but they're slightly more cat eye. You can see these are black all over. So these ones, they're the ones that I put that I would probably wear for like an evening out or for more of a weekend setting. I mean, obviously you could wear them for work, but I just styled them there as a more weekend thing. These I really like for a work environment or if I'm doing something slightly more formal, these are a classic cat eye and these actually look quite similar to the glasses that I already wear daily. Some cat eyes can be really harsh and really like 1950s. If you wanna go for something that's a little bit more on trend, I personally love this shape. I have so many sunglasses in this shape as well because I just think it's a universal style that I feel suits pretty much most people. The next pair are these and they come in black. A lot of these glasses come in different colors, by the way, I should have mentioned that. I've, I'm more often than not pick black or neutral colors because I feel like they go with loads of things but if you do like colors a lot of them come in different shades these glasses here I feel like they are most similar to these the ones I showed you earlier that have got the ombre sort of light gray round here what were these ones called these were muse weren't they these are like quite rectangle I feel these are rectangle but they've got a slight cat eye thing going on at the same time they're, they're a slightly softer rectangle put it that way I think I actually prefer these slightly more to these. This is the style I was saying, the Amelia E cat eye ones that I already wear at the moment and I wear them all the time. And when I tried these on, I thought I could actually be convinced to move slightly away from this style, like even though I like it. And then the final pair, and I've got to admit out of everything, these are my favorites. It's these. These are the Amelia E cat eye glasses. I featured these in a video that I did. It was that travel video, things to take with you. From that video, one of you wrote to me and said that you'd bought these and you really liked them. They're so inexpensive, but they look the absolute bomb. Check this. They look so classic. Oh, sorry, I'm looking that way, otherwise I get the ring light in them. But they look so classic, so stylish. This is totally the thing that I would tend to wear like every day and it feels so nice to be able to put on some glasses that have got the prescription in and to be able to actually see out of them feels so nice. You can, as I've said with all of these, you can get them without prescription lenses if you don't need it and you just fancy the look of wearing some glasses. It's really weird, when these first turned up, these are the Diane von Furstenberg ones, 
put them on and I was like, this is so different to anything I'd wear, but I really like these as well. Like I think with your hair up, they would look amazing. Like I got these because they reminded me of, you know that Paris Hilton look circa year 2000? There's so many things about that era that I wouldn't want to go back to, but I actually quite like that sort of like 70s frame. So they are all of the glasses that I've got to show you. As I mentioned earlier, I just really wanted to show this brand from the point of view of having experienced the quality, but also the fashionable style. And key thing is the price. The price is really good. And as an eyeglass wearer, it drives me insane that I have to spend so much to get a style that I like. Whereas in this case, it was like not an issue. So if you do end up using them, I would really love to know your honest opinion on how you found them. Please, please let me know. I'm gonna put in the description, I've listed out all of the glasses that I wore so you can see what's what. GlassesUSA.com are also offering a special offer on your first order of glasses from them. I'm gonna put the details below. This is not an affiliate. This is just something that they've offered to coincide with this video. So if you wanna use it, it's completely up to you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video.